Greg, who went to UC Davis, so pretty good lineage there. Tell us real quick about uh, your pride and why Northern Arizona for you. Well, um, I start off by saying I think Northern Arizona is a stellar program. I think it's, uh, it's got a great uh, football heritage there, and um, I really like where the program is heading in the future, and I'm really excited to be a part of the program. I think the head, the, the coaching staff there is um, second to none, and uh, really excited to uh, one day be a part of that and um, uh, be under those coaches. And um, you know, it's it's a program that's really excited me. I've gotten to uh, go to Flagstaff, where it's located, and visit there twice, and um, get to walk around the campus. I think it's a wonderful campus, awesome facilities, and it's um, you know it's a program that I'm really excited to be about, you know, be a part of. And so. Um, this whole recruiting process with them has gone very smoothly, and uh, you know it's something that I felt from the Lord. Um, you know, was was you know I felt peace in my heart about it, and uh, you know I just feel so honored to be here this evening and to be able to uh, be a part of that program someday. And um, I also have some thank yous I'd like to say. So um, I would like to start off saying how much of an honor it is to be here this evening um, and to be honored along with such incredible athletes. I'd like to congratulate Stone Sander, Hannah Gregg, and Eddie Vanderdose. Very thankful for the opportunity and feel very humbled by this experience. And uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for blessing my life and blessing me throughout my high school experience. I'd like to thank the head coach of Northern Arizona University, Jerome Sowers, and the offensive coordinator, Rich Gangarella, who recruited me. I'm very excited to be a part of the program. I'm looking forward to what the future holds. I'd also like to thank the Placer High Varsity football coaching staff, Coach Montoya, Coach Rodardi, Coach Savins, Coach Murphy, Coach Lopez, Coach Bowman, Coach Ross Kelly, Coach Wallace, Coach Senior, and Coach Rick Foley. I would also like to thank my team. We had an incredible 10-0 season, and it was an honor to work with all of you guys and grow as a quarterback. Isaac Brace, Michael Robinson, Todd Valier, Stone Sander, Brian Bruby, Jalen Lewis, Isaiah Pinero. Thank you for throwing with me over the years and helping me get better. My offensive line, thank you for your protection and for playing your hearts out. Also, I want to say a special thank you to Stone Sander over here and uh, Jalen Lewis. Without your guys' help in the offseason, throwing with me every day, I strongly believe I wouldn't be where I am now. And for that, I am very grateful. And last but not least, I would like to thank my family, my mother for her incredible love and support over the years, my older brother Greg for his love and support and passing on of football knowledge and quarterback skills, my sisters Sarah and Lily for all of their cheering and support throughout my high school career, to Janelle and baby Greg, I love you both so much. To my grandparents who are watching online right now, I love you guys with all my heart. To my church family for their love and support over the years. And finally, my dad for his love, support, wisdom, and incredible coaching that has led me to where I am today fundamentally. I love you all so much. Again, I want to say how much of an honor it is to be here this evening. Thank you for all of your support. It's great to be at Hellman and go Lumberjacks. Well done. Go ahead, sign your paper. All right, Stone, come on up. Stone Sander going to Sacramento State. We got some love out there. First team, all conference, Sacramento B. Old Metro, played in the Optimus game, could play defensive end, could play tight end. Uh, finally passed up his father as a player this year, though his father had the hit of the year. Um, <laughs> we might see if uh, Troy can't relive that play. Somebody could just run down the aisle with a water ball. That, that'd be the trick. Um, I talked to Marshall Spurbeck, your Sacramento State coach earlier. He's ecstatic to have you. Thinks, uh, he thinks we got a football player. We're going to have him a tight end, play him a defensive end. Wanted to know if your dad had any more eligibility. But um, talk about <laughs> your decision and why Sacramento State and how it feels. Um... Well, I chose Sac State because it's uh, it's local. I didn't want to go far. I want to be close to home. Um, it's a great program. It's on the rise, and we're bringing in a lot of local talent. And I think as the years go on, we're just going to get better and better. Hopefully, get that uh, Big Sky Conference title. Um, I want to thank all the people that helped me. Uh, mainly my family, my dad, my mom, my stepmom, just everyone. Thank you for all the help and support. Coaches, thank you guys very much. Um, without all this, or without you, none of this would be possible. And also the team for giving me a great year and um, letting us get as far as we did, as far as we did, and get the exposure we did. So thank you guys. Thank you. Sign your scholarship.
but that wraps it up. Thanks for coming, everybody. Have a good night. Eddie, if you could clean up, that'd be great over there. All right, we get Big Eight Eddie up here. Let's give him a hand. He works in slow motion. Eddie's got a personality as big as his frame. He is a uh, gregarious personality, a dominant football player, one of the best I've ever seen. Uh, one of the fun things about working in the media with high schools is you get to know people and their families and genuine guy. And I know this has exhausted you. It's been a tiring experience. Uh, you might be finally be able to get a nap uh, in the next couple of days. Why don't we kind of merge over here and you um, pick, tell, go through each hat and explain what you liked about each school. And then, uh, and then at the end, we'll, uh, we'll ask what your decision was. All right. Well, you know, as you know, this is finally over for me. I've been waiting for this probably for about a year now. You know, it's one of those things that you've always wanted to be in the recruiting process. And once you get it, it's like, oh, wow, this is awesome. But then it gets real stressful. So it's nice I'm finally coming in. But, um, you know, Alabama, they came, you know, I've been talking to them since February. Uh, Coach Rump, uh, Coach Saban, and Coach Nuss. You know, I went up to my visit, had a great time up there. You know, I love the staff, love it out south, and I love the players and everything. Uh, I fit into the scheme real well, and I just, it is a great, it's a great, it could be a great home for me. Uh, Notre Dame, uh, they've been here, they've been recruiting me since February also. Uh, really enjoyed this school as well. Um, you know, you can't go wrong there. Great academics, great uh, football program, and, you know, the defensive line there, I could really come in and help right away, so it uh, really sticks out to me. And you know, the, uh, what else? I love the coaches there and all that in the area. I love South Bend. UCLA, uh, they've been recruiting me for about two years now. You know, love the staff, uh, Coach Coach McClure, uh, Coach Mora, uh, Coach Ulbrich. You know, the whole staff. I've really enjoyed their presence. You know, to me, it's a local school. It's about six hours away. Uh, you know, Angus is a local guy. I uh, really enjoyed having him recruit me the whole time. I've been in the scheme real well, too, and, you know, can't go wrong in the Pac-12 and their class on the rise. I think they're top five class in the country right now, so really enjoyed them recruiting me. And Westwood, I like you can't get any better than that. Uh, USC. <laughs> USC, as most of you guys know, I was previously committed there. Decided to open things up, look at all my options again, you know, because I gotta make sure it's the right decision for me. It's not just a four year decision, it's 50, 60 year decision. And when it gets down to this time, it's kind of almost a little bit scary just because it's like, is this the place for me? So I decided to open it up because I wasn't 100% with everything. And, uh, but you no, know, I love the staff. They've been recruiting me since January, February also. Uh, I think, you know, Coach Orgeron, Coach Kiffin, Coach Helton, uh, Coach T. Martin, and the whole staff. You know, I went there to visit, had a great time up there, came going on to LA again, as I said about UCLA. Uh, I fit the scheme real well, and they have a great class too. <clears throat> In Washington, you know, I love my visit up there, you know. Uh, coach lupoy has got a lot of players, a great D-line coach. Uh, I, I, I love the scheme, perfect scheme for me. Uh, you know, Coach Lupoy, every guy that he's put first round is in the exact same size and weight as I have, so that stuck out to me. And, other than the rain, I love the city up there. <laughs> and um, they're, this team's going to be on the rise for sure, no doubt. Uh, they had an average season this year, but I think in the future they put a great recruiting class together, and I really think they're going to be special. I think they'll be a top five team in the next three, three years from now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hold that thought. <laughs> the internet is a fun little thing, and the bloggers and all that, and there was a funny one earlier today and yesterday that we can understand Eddie's going to Auburn. He loves Auburn. Well, no, he lives in, in Auburn. His high school's in Auburn. There's no Auburn Tigers hat here. All right, tell us, reach for your hat, and tell us uh, why you're going to Kentucky. I mean, whatever you're gonna do, but uh, tell us what you're gonna go. Uh, well, first things first, I wanna thank everybody throughout the last four years in high school. Uh, obviously, thank my parents. They've been with me through the you know, whole family, actually. They've been here for me since I was born, so I was kidding. <laughs> Couldn't, couldn't thank them much more, you know, they're real hard on me, very hard on me about a lot of stuff, but obviously it's worked out and everything, so I'm really grateful for that, my whole family, um, and uh, who else? Oh yeah, I want to thank everybody at Placer High School, 
you know, Coach Murphy, Coach Montoya, Coach Rodardi, just the whole staff. You know, without them, I wouldn't have been developed as a football player as I am now. Because uh, they, they brought me up sophomore year and just really, really developed me into the player that I've become. So I'm really grateful for that. So thank you guys. And Coach Roscoe, obviously, he's the freaking man. You can't get better than Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then Coach Saban. Coach Saban's over here. He, he's a great coach. He's actually been coaching me since I was like 10 years old. So it's not wasn't just high school. So. You know, he really put together this whole thing for me. Uh, I'm really grateful for that, that he took the time out of the last week to really manage this for me, because without him, I, I wouldn't have done this, or I don't know who else would have done this. And, you know, so I, I really thank him. Um, obviously, I, I thank Coach Murphy, because without Murphy, I probably would have done a college because I'm not the best math student. <laughs> and he's really helped me with all that. And my defensive coordinator, Coach Rodardi, couldn't, couldn't have done it without Coach Rodardi. He's, a phenomenal D coordinator. Uh, this year showed it real well. I mean, we gave up 21 points in the league. And we, we probably should only gave up seven, but you know, stuff happens and all that. So I, you know, I couldn't ask for a better D coordinator. And I just want to thank everybody in the community that's really pushed for me. You know, to be successful, making sure I'm doing the right things on and off the field. You know, if it's just a, you know, me stopping at a stop sign, it's not completely stopping me. I'm gonna hear about it. You know, tell my parents. <laughs> Uh, that's how much that's how much people care about me out here. Um, so I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, I appreciate uh, LWG really helping me out in the off season. You know, refining all my pass rush skills, run stop skills, and just like the whole knowledge of the game. And that's what I'll be working this off season before I leave. So I'm really excited to get back on that. And you know, I want to thank everybody who's came here and supported me here. So yeah. And, uh, the school I'm going to, I felt was the best fit for me, but by far, you know, I went up there, visited, felt right at home, loved everything about the staff, the players, and, <laughs> and the university, you know, this, I think this place is magical, and I'm committed to the University of Notre Dame. about uh, we talked uh, recently and you said that you uh, you agonized over this because it's a life decision your good friend John Osterhout who runs Lyman with games has been a, a friend and a confidant and he said uh, I don't know if this is gonna be news for you but he said that the next big, big decision of your life is picking your uh, bride so do you want to announce that now or is that the hope for the show? Um, 
I don't, I don't have a wife at this point. <laughs> I don't have a wife. Um, I don't plan on having a wife this year. Um, so right now, outside of the picture. Um, yeah. No, I don't have a wife. All right. <laughs> Sign away. Thank you very much. We could have a uh, family if they want to get uh, photo opportunities or do a photo opportunity there with Eddie signing. Hey Joe, hey Joe could you Joe move the, the caps? Bad news when the principal puts the uh, broom in the Blaster High School recruiting hall right there. Job well done. you and Peter switch hats and we'll confuse people. Uh. <laughs> All right, I think if uh, Paul is from the Sacramento will be, we're going to go first if you need anything. The heck with everybody else. Okay. Any media, if you want to come up and, and talk to these people, they're all yours. Same with family and friends with um, photo opportunities. Thank you, everybody. And congratulations. Thank you.